Okay, good people's late, depends on where you are, right? Late Monday evening, early Tuesday morning in some parts and later. So I'm getting out my promised YMAG, YMAX, and ULTI, sort of the funds of funds as they're referred to. So you're going to see that, first off, a couple of housekeeping things that are really important. So to get the the yield to get the dividend on any of these funds you need to buy them before the 14th so you need to buy them since we're already on the 11th you need to buy them on the 11th the 12th and the 13th now 13th is where they declare so early in the morning i think it's i keep thinking 8 30 it's been as early as 7 30 in the morning they make an announcement of what the payouts will be the 14th, you no longer get that anymore. See, but you can buy in advance. We we sort of know the payout, but we don't. So let me. It's all about math, and 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 this is a little simpler math than the option complexity. So I'm going to walk you through it. So this is what's happened in the past. Okay. We don't have June on here because we haven't got that payment, right? So last month, I used an average and I used a median, okay? A lot of people think the median is the same as the average, but if you really understand them, look them up, you'll see that they vary. Sometimes they're the same number. So when I was teaching math to high school students and, and even middle school, you know, some people struggled with that. Well, how can it be one time it's the same and one time it's different? It's a formula, right? The larger your data set, the more likely you have a deviation off of the average when you have a median. So I won't get into definition. So what we have here, let's talk about how these are calculated. They're fairly straightforward and there's where math comes into play. So let's take YMAX, the most complicated of them. So YMAX owns all of the funds except the brand new funds. Even though YBIT paid, they're not yet included. The other one that hasn't even paid is GDXY, so they're not included. They will be in the future. Crash, according to a, an interview that a YouTuber did with Jay, and I watch every YouTuber video on Jay. I mean, he's on the circuit. And he's out there doing them, and he's a bright guy, and he's pretty straightforward. He has to hold back a little bit, you know. But in general, and he was asked if the inverse fund or the bearish fund, I like to just call them what they are, inverse is toe dancing. Call it what it is. It's a bearish tent, right? If, you were, if you're a bear on Tesla, you should own Crash. I don't call it Crush because Elon Musk is crashing. So he'll survive that for sure, and he'll go on to make billions more. He's brilliant. So I'm not anti-Elon Musk in any way. I'm, I view him as a savant and, and very, very wise guy. Him and Michael Saylor, put those two in a room and let them figure something out. So anyway, going forward, so there's all these funds in there, and there's a share count. So there's where your math comes in. And they don't do anything themselves. They're not sitting on top of Tesla and writing options on Tesla or writing, you know, and some of these funds you can actually write options because they've been around and they're volatile and they get an option family. But for the most part, don't think of writing options on these, right? It's the underlines that are massive. That's why they're using the underlying. So coming forward, then you have just payment data, right? What did they pay out in June? Because that's what they're collecting. And then this percentage is sort of a weighted number. We all know that Misty's the, the GOAT, the high payer, right? By far. But it's also got a small little track record. And Coney many times is GOAT number two. And then NVIDIA comes in. But NVIDIA, if you just look, what does anybody talk about on, you know, they make uh, Misty and Coney look like a dinky little company. They're challenging the real juggernauts at $3 trillion, Microsoft and, uh, now I went brain dead on Microsoft and Apple. 
Yeah, those are the three companies that have reached three trillion, and they go back and forth. I mean, I think Nvidi fell back to two point nine seven three. So Microsoft's the real goat, and then Apple, and then the third goat might be Nvidi. I mean, they certainly again they'd probably be the winner of all this if they didn't just run by right and kill their weekly sometimes, which which we all know you can get capped. So let's leave that alone. And we know that right now there'd be an 87 cent payout based on how many shares of the fund that they have to pay. So you guys that follow me, I talk about this a lot with Misty and Coney and, and even Ybid and, you know, well, they say that, you know, we think they're gonna pay 350. Right or somebody on Misty, I remember the very first one, and I said, "Well, they earned eight plus dollars. They could pay six. Will they? I don't think so. Right? Will they pay five? I don't think so. I think it'll be high threes. Nobody's even paid three, so maybe they'll pay three ninety eight. Well, it turns out they paid four twelve, so they went even higher than I thought. So, and why? Because there's people buying into the fund, right? When YouTubers are out there telling you how well Misty did and how it's a great fund, it's not hard to see what MicroStrategy is doing. So that's what I mean by math. If this was a static share count, 99.9% .9 you'd get 87 cents paid, right? So you can start going back and you can do math and you can say what's the average share count increase in a day? That's not gonna get you even close. Why? Because these aren't normal days, right? These are days that you're so close, you know what, ever since you make the June distribution, you might as well go back to 6.5 and say, that distribution was announced. Now we know how much money they collected. And then you go back and you look at share count. Somebody talks about that. I think I've seen five different people give estimates already. And that's cool. I think it's great. I love the YouTube community to educate people. I just did a video on educating people again. Why yield max? Is it real? What does it do? How does it work? I tried to keep it very high level. I'm not getting into deep dive, right? Because I do that every week in the funds that I cover. People don't want to hear it that don't even know what it is. So anyway, that, that's trending very, very well, and I love it. And I'm not here to tell you about that. I'm here to tell you about these funds, but I just want to point out that a lot of people, and I say in there, I did one before that, and I said, get in, take $100,000 and put it into WiMAX, and what would it do? Because I did one on Misty. You know, would I advise somebody that only had 100000 to go put it in Misty? Certainly not. I mean, you got a $13,000 payment, you're going to be jumping up and down. And then when it drops to 10, you're going to be going, what happened? Right? It's just the volatility in that kind of stuff. But you can make a lot of money. All right. So 87 cents based on 9425, right? And so what would, would have worked for me would have just simply been going out and looking at the previous month, the four days leading up from declaration, it's not always four days, right? But it, it's at least two business days, two trading days. And what was the, sometimes it's four. What is the share count change that takes place moving forward? And that's that rise because people know that, oh, it's got 87 cents to pay based on some math formulas. That, there's not so much of a question. How can anyone question that? But if the share count changes, and it's happened to Misty, it's happened to Coney. I talk about this all the time, and it'll happen to YBET and GDXY. So let's do that. So what happened? Well, look at this. You want to see something. Whoops. I do. I forget. What, okay. So here was the 9425 at the close on the 7th, right? And it was going to pay 87 cents. This is, what, this is how many shares. Look at this. It shouldn't be $13. It should be percentage. 
it should be a 13% increase. Oh my gosh. That's how much the share is increased. Do you know what that does to an 87 payment? So I started going into that. I started running the numbers. I said 85 cents becomes 76 cents. Where is it going? It could go down to 68 cents. So if, if you made an estimate of 85, and how are any of us going to know? You know, they still ultimately decide just because that's what they collected. But it's probably a 98%, 99% chance that's what they're going to pay based on that share count and what they collected. But they also are going to take some into account here. So I don't know what these numbers are going to continue to be here. I'd rather just put a range in here. And why, that's sorry, I jumped to YMAG. But YMAX is exactly the same, right? I just hear, I said, okay, I just went one month and said, this is, this is real. It went from 87 to 77 in one day because of the increase in share count. So it's possible we get another 950,000. Actually, that's 850, and it drops to 71 cents. I don't know how many shares are going to be bought in the ensuing three days. I almost don't want to tell people and save it for myself. But that's not fair either. So. Let's go back. So ulti is the wild card. Let's do a little quick ulti. So with ulti, I'm not here to give you all the trades and analyze what industry and all that. I, I'm not going to waste your time. But here's what I'll tell you. By the way, I changed these when they put these big long things. First American government, right? Basically, it's a money market. But other than cash, what do they own? Well, they own ARM. They've owned ARM for a long time. They write calls. They own CleanSpark. They've owned that for a long time. They own Carvana. That's a NOVX. I think that's a couple weeks in. Money Market. Giga Cloud. Excellent company. They've owned that for. This is relatively new. I haven't checked for about a week. Him and Hers Health, right? They're writing calls on that. Robinhood. That's a retail trading firm. Uh, Iris Energy. I love energy in general. I don't know Iris, but I'll look it up. Marathon Digital is a crypto uh, mining. Uh, Mobileye Global. MicroStrategy, know them and love them. They used to own Coinbase, but when I perused, they don't. Uh, Novavax, Pharma, Reddit. Everybody knows Reddit. Uh, public, they had an IPO not that long ago. Sunrun, Solar, Supermicro, the wild card, right? They supply NVIDIA and a lot of people, a Taiwanese owner in Silicon Valley, his brother works with the chip companies over there. So they're able to build a custom components for AMD and, and supply a lot of stuff to the, to the big AI guys. Sarepta, Upstart Holdings, they've been in here a long time. Zim, it's a big worldwide shipping company, an Israeli company. Um, they've paid up to, a, I want to say, a 40% dividend before. Um, but there's, there was a billionaire going after their, their shares and trying to change some people on the board. It, it's been... Um, Interesting to say the least. I haven't owned them, but I did uh, play some option shares on them. Okay, so my point is they're high IV stocks and they make their money. The stuff that happens with YMAG and YMAX is not really relevant. Okay, but the only thing I can really use here with them, so let me just focus on this and wrap this up. Okay. So I had, my, I had Friday's share price. I updated them to what did they close at on Monday. And then I updated the share counts on the other page. And this is where I went into all of the detail right on each one about where they could go to. And then I summarized it here. And then I took the midpoint of the range over the next three days because they've already dropped, right? So your original 87 cents here, I've got it somewhere between 72 and 80, and I use 76. 
and you see all the previous payments. So it, it's still an increase over May at 73. And at the current stock price, who knows what it'll be on the day it's distributed, right? And then you calculate your yield. It's that simple. So yielding 76 cents, and it stayed at 2051, that's a 44.47. Where it was at, I think, 2042 and paying 85 was like a 51.27. So these are going to bounce around. It's the nature of the beast, right? I mean, I'm trying to give you as close as I can here. So this one was a 68 to 75, and, and my range could, is still an estimate, right? Based on how many people buy into the share. So I'm using 71.5, which is a big payment increase over here. Um, but Ulti is a wild card. I'm saying $1.68, but I'm now changing that to 107.8. And part of it's feel, right? You just have to have a feel here. Um, their nav is 16, 16, 16, 20 going into the last distribution. When the nav is down, that means they're not pulling in as much cash and therefore they're dropping in net asset value. It doesn't always correlate, but I'm predicting a lower payment. And then when, look at your yield. It's still, so they were up today at 1470, even if it pays 107, that's an 88% yield, folks. So don't just think, oh no, it's gonna be another 127. Hey, it could. I'm not in that management meeting. All I can do is use math, right? And my intellect and some logic. So that's what I got for you. I don't think I'm gonna go in every day and update this, but I may, depends, I may tell you in the Discord. I'm not gonna make another video on it. So that's what you got. I got 76 cents to summarize for YMAX. I got 71.715 for YMAG. And I got a dollar seven, almost a dollar eight for LT. Okay, so Bruce out, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. It's for fun and entertainment. Hope you are entertained. And to all of my new subscribers, thank you. Look forward to giving you quality content. You can expect these payment predictions. You can expect the funds that I cover in detail for you. And as we move forward, I'm going to do more things in my Discord and, and, and in some other areas for you. So keep the questions coming. Keep the comments coming. Welcome aboard. And let's have fun with the OMAX. All right, see ya. Bye.